Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you the exact workflow I use to find bugs on any website in under five minutes. And it's one of the most effective shortcut method that will definitely help you in bug bounty hunting. As always, remember that ethical hacking requires proper authorization. Make sure you have explicit permission before testing any assets. This video is for educational purposes only. Let's get started. First, I'm going to show you a Shodan method I use most often to find the latest CVE vulnerabilities at a mass scale. Simply type the CVE dork you want on search and it will show you all available results. Next, click on the More option, which opens the Facet Analysis tab and select the IP option. Now, you can use this bookmarklet I made. It fetches all the IP addresses for the given product into a TXT file. Once downloaded, save the file on Kaylee and run a nuclei scan on it. Also, use tags according to your CVE, and it will scan all templates related to that product. You can also fetch domains the same way into a TXT file and run a nuclei scan on them. After some time, you'll see all the vulnerable results from nuclei scanning. You can check these URLs and report them to the website support team. Next, let me show you another script that helps access disabled inputs, read-only fields, hidden forms, and other hidden elements on any website. I've integrated this into my lost uncover script for easy access. You can also use Lost Uncovered to find all URLs and paths of a target domain with domain only, URLs filter, and search option. If you want to extract only paths of a target domain, this simple script will help with that as well. You can then fuzz these paths to find hidden files and directories. Try exploring other paths by adding them to the URL you're likely to discover some interesting things. Now, let's move to the main automation part. First, I use this alien vault script to fetch all URLs of a target domain. The great thing about this script is it finds all URLs across all pages until the last result. After that, I use GF patterns for parameters along with URL, which gives all unique parameterized URLs. You can then test these URLs manually for bugs or use Nuclei DAST, which will automatically scan all parameters for vulnerabilities. Next, I have a best dorking script that I already shared in my SQL injection video and Medium article, so you can check those out. Moving on, the Lost Fuzzer script is very easy and effective method. You just need to input the domain name or a file with domains, and it finds all vulnerabilities using nuclei DAST scanning. For now, it's not showing XSS results on this domain today because I reported it yesterday and they patched it quickly with Cloudflare WA. But for proof of concept, you can see cache results with XSS pop-ups. Due to Brave browser restrictions, some cookies aren't visible, but in other browsers, full cookies show up. I'll post the Nuclei results and XSS screenshot on my Twitter so you can see how easy it is to find using this simple script. Next is the URLS scan tool, another excellent script for finding URLs and hidden subdomains. You can select the subdomains mode to get subdomain results, which you can combine with HTTPX to check technologies and other stats. For only URLs, select URLs mode. You can then sort results using GF patterns or scan them with Nuclei DAST, just like before. Now, let's look at the virus total script made by Orwa. You can use it by entering a domain or IP, and it will show all URLs results. Sometimes, you may even find email password combinations of target domains. I tested these credentials before. They worked for accessing user profiles, but they may have changed now. You can also find access keys, password reset tokens, and other sensitive endpoints. Finally, let's go over the last script I recently updated. 
you can now provide a subdomains flag for wildcard domains, and you can filter results by status code or exclude certain codes as well. Entering a domain without flags shows only main domain URLs. Using this flag include subdomains URLs. You know, SC flag is used to filter a specific status code, and the SEX flag excludes a given status code. The best part of this script is that it can now be used as a one-liner and integrated with tools like GF patterns or nuclei, making bug hunting faster and more efficient. I hope all these methods will help in your bug hunting journey. Additionally, I'll be sharing all of these scripts in my upcoming Medium article with further enhancements and improvements. Make sure to follow me there. That's a wrap for today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you're always updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.